This is a practice video for You Didn't Ask Me by Renata Brat, the cello part. Uh, and here we go. So first off, uh, F sharp and C sharp in the key signature, key of D. 12-8 uh, time for our time signature. And I'm going to be conducting in four. So be four big beats or four dotted quarter notes per measure. If you need to subdivide into eighth notes, of course, that's totally fine. Three eighth notes per big beat. So you'll be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, I'm going to go over a couple counting measures because I'm realizing I wish I would have put some more counting in and put some more slashes in your part. So again, when you're working on counting in an unfamiliar time signature or something's kind of complex, put slashes in to know where the big beats are falling. Um, and then you can write more counting in underneath your notes. Uh, so we're going to skip the solo at the beginning here. Same thing with 41. I'd be happy to do that uh, those parts with you in a lesson. They're really fun to play, a lot of cool stuff going on in those solos, but uh, please ask me for help individually um, in your lesson time. So at measure eight, again, I wish I'd put counting in here for you. Sorry. So it goes one, um, rest. Notice you also are going to hook your bow between um, those two Ds during the quarter rest. So down, up, up, down, up. Um, then after that, I wrote some stuff in. That's not bad. Go down to 17. You're going to be lifting and playing right on beat one and two. So one, two, three. And that last little B, again, it's hooked and it's on that off beat. Same thing for 19 and 20. And now here at 21, I would put a slash on your first note, the B, that's on beat one. Then the quarter rest is beat two, and you're going to come in on the uh, so one and uh, of beat two for the eighth note. So one, two, uh, three, four. One, two, uh, three, four. Rest, and so on. So put, again, some slashes in, write some counting in. At 25, you have three quarter notes in a row at the end of that measure. Think of that as a big triplet. Uh, and that kind of covers the first page. So then uh, on the last page at 66, you get to do some fun stuff here. So we're going to be doing the melody that you've been hearing the violins play up to this point. So we're going to start in the third position. So you're one on your four tape. And then shift up to fourth position. So put your one on that last tape. And you're going to grace note up from your two to three. Now what threw me off a little bit at the beginning of this part too is that the violins are going to slide you're going to just do a grace note. So you're going to go from a 2-3. So just flick that 3 down. Come back to your 1. Shift back to 1st. Whatever the notes are there. And then continue on. Back up to 4th position. Grace note 2-3. 2nd position. Go right back up to 4th. And so on. All right, so let's go back to the top, or measure eight. I'm going to have the metronome set at a dot a quarter note equals 80. It's over here so you can hear it better. All right, here we go. So here's page one, starting at measure eight. One, two, three, four. Rest. One. So that's page one, 
top of page two, you can do that first measure at 36. Uh, three measures rest, and then measure 40 will only be for the solo going into 41. If you are not doing the solo, just rest during that measure. And then you'll come in with the accompaniment part at measure 41, so the bottom line. This will be pizzicato, and it's just the same rhythm, uh, pretty much. So you're going to go one, two, a three, rest. Rest. Watch out, you do switch to arco in the first ending for those four dotted quarters. Go back to 41 for as many times as we're doing solo, and then you'll take the last time ending there. All right, so that puts us on to page three, and you've got three beats to wait before this pizzicato, and we'll finish it up. So here's measure 50. We're going to rest, two, three, pluck. One, two, three, pluck. One, two, three, pluck. Two beats each, ready, and one, two. Two, three, rest. to the end. That's kind of tricky, uh, especially at a faster tempo. So work that section. And as always, if there's things that you can do to sound better on this piece, like shifting up instead of playing open strings, add your vibrato, your accents, your dynamics, all of that in.